Keller Williams Realty has engineered a company that put people first. From how they do their businesses to how they expand those businesses, a higher level of thinking is being required by everyone. I get a lot of phone calls and questions from people who constantly ask me, who are these guys Keller Williams? So in 1987, we did something that had never been done before in the real estate business. A compensation plan that rewarded our associates for building the business, and that's profit share. You were right there at the beginning of profit share. We were rebels. First, it was real estate agents gaining leverage through adding people to their business and creating what's been called teams. You know, 20 something years ago, people told me I was an idiot. Maybe 89 or 90, we would try to support real estate agents duplicating themselves. The industry and even the real estate agent themselves was not ready for that dialogue. Expansion is nothing more than one simple thing, and that is taking your lead generation and your admin to additional locations. Why is e-commerce the inevitable future? Because it's a natural extension of the information age. Someone took your data because they had control of it and turned it into free data that you lost control over happens right underneath your nose. We're living in a time where technology is rewriting the rules for just about everything. We are not a real estate company anymore. And we're a technology company who is building the real estate platform that our agents and their customers will prefer to use. Keller Williams, you know, this real estate company totally reinventing itself, coming up with what the machine learning problems are they should be solving, and then coming up with what data they need for those machine learning problems to be solved, and then prioritizing by where's the bang for the buck and figuring out how to do it in parallel. When I made the comment uh, back, I guess, at family reunion, or even before that, and I said, we're a technology company, uh, boy, you would have thought I'd have said the weirdest thing, right? People were going, you're an idiot, Keller. Well, you said it, and no one knew exactly what you were building. Well, I didn't want them to know. Yeah. But it was quite a declaration. I'm spending a billion dollars in technology. You would automatically... Okay, so if I let someone build my technology for me, what do I own? Amazon owns their software, Facebook owns their software, yes? Yeah. Net Netflix owns their software, right? Yeah. Okay. So why would we tell the real estate agent, don't own your software? Or don't let your company you're in partnership with, why would we tell them not to own it?
price you pay for getting where we are is, you look stupid for about four years. The world itself and most of the people in it really don't care if you think big or not. And many of them, maybe even most of them, will profit tremendously if you think small. So I'm ready to rewrite the rules if you are.